What's up, Everyday Blades? We got a driver here today, a bit driver. So I'm a, I'm a sucker for drivers, man, especially nice ones. I like them. I've got the Shira Gorov driver, the Scout Leather Company drivers, and multiple variations. <clears throat> I've got some of the cheaper Amazon drivers that I really like. Uh, my favorite is the Shira Gorov driver, of course. Um, this would be my favorite portable driver. This is the Bitbar 2 by Big Idea Designs. I love everything they do. They're just a great company. So you have a, a quarter inch driver there. This is not some odd shape size bit like the small ones. You drive from there. You can drive sideways with a little bit of a lean if you want. You can use that just as a bit holder while you're changing bits out if you're using two different bits on a knife. And this is the best part. Are you ready for the Fiesta Resistance? So you notice they're different colors. I swapped a bunch out. They had like a Phillip, couple of Phillips, a couple of flatheads, and a couple of Torx, and a couple of Allen heads. I swapped them out for mostly Torx, and then uh, you know two Phillips and one. I swapped out for all the Torx that I use. You know, the T6, T8, T10... T15, I believe. Uh, the ones I know that I'm going to use. Then it zips back in there. You just take them out. Stick them in there and roll. Or stick this in there and roll. But I will be rolling like this most of the time because I'm not going to have this with me. So their answer to being able to carry that, and you just stick those back in there, is to stick this in this leather pouch, which is really nice. It's genuine leather. And then stick that in there. And then this is like a pocket slip, right? But I chose to put a lanyard on mine instead. So that's where I'm at. But very nice if you want to use that for a pocket slip. I'm probably not going to carry this. Uh, I would carry this like if I went to Blade Show or something. Um, or if I was going camping or something like that, I would carry this. Uh, anywhere else, I probably wouldn't carry it. But it's just a great tool. I'm just a sucker for great drivers, man. Uh, that's just really unique that they put that on an angle like that. Let's see something. I guess it does go down in there. It goes farther down in that one than it does that one. It's kind of awkward when you stick it in there. I don't know what's going on with that. but It's almost like that's just a bit holder, you know, waiting for you to change this one out. Because this one goes a lot deeper. This one just barely goes in there but this is i guess this is so you can get a a lot of torque from the side so that's really cool too but i'm impressed let's check out some spizex that's millimeters that's cross the pond stuff about four inches inch and an eighth wide not quite a half inch thick but you can see the quality. I love everything Big Idea Designs does, man. They have a driver that holds bits back here, and the front is a flip-out driver. I want that one so bad, you can't find it nowhere. Every time I've looked for it, it stays sold out. I don't know if they just can't produce a large amount, or if maybe they think this is going to replace it. I hope not, because I think I'd rather have the other one. This is great, but this is big, man. This is kind of heavy. Uh... It seems kind of overbuilt. Like, uh, like I don't. Maybe there's a feature I don't know about. You see where the it's got the back door on it, and it's got a a bottom door on it. It's like, man, how much stuff is going on in there? We need all these access panels. It just seems. It seems. Let's check out the weight, because it just seems a little bit overbuilt. It seems tanky, which I'm not going to be carrying anywhere, so it don't matter to me. I'm not going to carry it much, but a guy that would carry it, that's going to matter. 4.4 ounces. That's a good size pocket knife for a driver. I don't know. That's uh, that's some weight. I like it. I mean, I'm glad I bought it. I'm I'm gonna keep it probably, maybe. I don't know. I say that about everything. I have I can't keep everything. This this whole studio would be filled up with stuff if I kept everything. It, it looked like a bomb went off in here. So anyway, they, they didn't send this to me. I bought this with my own money. Uh, I don't have any type of relationship with them. But still a cool item. 
pocket clip a little bit stiff, but we all know how to fix that. Just unspring it a little bit. I don't know. Just it seems like maybe I'm missing something about maybe it does something I don't know about or. They overbuilt it just a little bit. It's super hefty, man. It's like maybe it's made to do some serious heavy work. So, anyway, check it out. You can replace your bits. That's my favorite thing. It doesn't have them little dinky bits in there, proprietary bits, or the little dinky ones, the little eighth inch bits. These are quarter inch full size bits. All right, check it out. Big idea design, bit bar two. Far superior, better than Bit Bar One. I'm assuming. I don't know. I never seen Bit Bar One. Maybe that's the one I'm talking about. So, guys, thanks for watching. God bless you and your families. Say a prayer for our country. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a good night.